the deep south of the Korea Republic in the beautiful city of Suncheon. Beautiful because you can see right here, it is cherry blossom season. What perfect timing for the Korea Open Badminton Championships 2022. And plenty of blossoming talent here at the Palmer Stadium as well. As you can see, the HSBC BWF World Tour 2022 is well underway. And after a few weeks in Europe, we return to Asia. And we'll be here until September for the Japan Open before it returns uh, to uh, Western shores in the US and then Europe before ending up back in Asia and culminating in the World Tour Finals in mid-December. Plenty of badminton between now and then and plenty of badminton right here on court one. We are into the semi-final stages of the career open. Let's tell you what we have in store. We're going to start with the mixed doubles and the Indonesian pair of uh, Rinov Rivaldi and uh, Pita Haningtias Mentari, the six seeded Indonesians, are playing Malaysia's Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing. They are the second seeds. Uh, blockbuster clash coming up in the women's singles, the second match here in court one, with uh, PV Sindhu of India, the third seed, playing the home favorite, and she is a massive star here. Ansa Young, now 20 years of age, and the second seed. Another home favorite here, Kim Gaun will be playing Pon Pawi Chochuwong of Thailand, the sixth seed in the third match. And another massive encounter here in the men's singles this time. The third seeded Indonesian Jonathan Christie will take on India's Kidambi Srikanth, who is the fifth seed. Following that, we do have a Korea-Indonesia tie-up here with the men's doubles, Kang Min Hyuk and Seo Sung Jae, who had a superb encounter yesterday with the Indian pair of uh, Ranki Reddy and Shetty. Uh, they'll be playing the daddies, Asan and Setia won the second seeded Indonesians. And uh, in the sixth match, in the men's singles, Victor Svensson and Wong Hong Yang of uh, China. These two are unheralded, and one of them will get into the final. In the seventh match, Mohamed Shohibul Fikri of Indonesia, partnering Bagas Maulana, will be up against uh, Fajr Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardianto. This is an all-Indonesian affair. The second pair there, the fourth seeds. And the final match of the day here on court one, Yom Hai Won and Bo Ryong Kim of Korea will be playing the Aimsad sisters in the women's doubles. So, a lot to happen today here on court one at the Korea Open. And uh, we're going to start proceedings off, as we said, with the mixed doubles and there's the ladder there will be a korean finalist no matter what that's the final match of the day we start and end uh, with doubles today but uh, yes there will be a korean finalist who will be up against them the malaysians or the indonesians we shall find out soon enough decent crowd at the early stages of this morning more to come of course that's the weekend, and I am very happy to say there is a sizable Indonesian crowd here. And uh, they are well up for it. They came early, and they're dressed up. they got the flags ready, and they will make plenty of noise. Yesterday, we had a good partisan Korean crowd, and uh, that will just get bigger and bigger, I'm sure, as the day progresses, especially because it's a weekend. It has been uh, very fine temperatures here. It started off a little chilly in the early days of this week, but it's just got warmer and warmer. It's about 20 odd degrees today. Very, very pleasant indeed. And yeah, the shouts from the crowd because we've got the players coming out onto court here. Rinov, Rivaldi, and Peter Harintias Mentari. as well as Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing. Tell you a little bit about these players. Rinov Rivaldi has uh, won a gold medal at the Southeast Asian Games in 2019. And he won the mixed doubles bronze with his partner here, Mentari. They got a bronze in 2019 as well. He is a former World Junior Champion along with his partner from 2017. They've got a silver at the World Juniors in 2015 and a bronze in 2017 in the boys' doubles. And he's also a silver medalist in the Red Asia Junior Black. Championships. Well, these pairs have Black. met four times. It's two apiece. The last it time was Black. in the French Open 2019. 
Life with Tan and Lai easy. winning 9 21, 21 18, okay. 22 20. This side? Okay. Yeah, Peter Mentari, as I mentioned, also former world junior champion, alongside Rinov Rivaldi, and also a couple of medals in the Southeast Asia Games. Tan and Lai, more experienced, but we'll tell you about them in a short while. Rinov Rivaldi is 22 years of age, 174 centimeters tall. He's from Bakasi, Indonesia, currently 23rd in the world. His highest rank was 16. And that was in October 2019. Peter Hanningtias Mentari is 22, 157 centimeters tall. She's from the capital, Jakarta. And uh, these two have been playing with each other for about five years. This is their path to the semi-finals they beat Key and Kim in uh, well they've had two pretty tough matches both of them Midori Kawa and Saito as well both of them going to three games apiece playing for the best part of an hour now for Tan Kian Meng he comes from right down south of Malaysia right at the tip Johor Bahru which borders Singapore he's at 27 years of age a pretty tall man at 185 centimeters tall currently 10th in the world his highest ranking is ninth with his uh, current partner Lai Beijing that was in December 2016 these two have been playing together uh, since that year Lai is uh, 29 160 centimeters tall from uh, further up in Malaysia in Kuantan and these two Far, far more experienced. They've been playing play. together, as I said, for about six years. So Tan Kian Meng himself is a silver medalist at the uh, Southeast Asian Games in the men's team event 2019. And he got a bronze in the mixed doubles uh, with Lai Pei Jing. And uh, also a former Asia Junior bronze medalist in 2012. Kevin Ban from the United States is the umpire. Ryu Jong Hyun of Korea is the service judge. Lai Pei Jing's actually won a fair bit. She's got a gold medal at the uh, Commonwealth Games in 2014. That was with a different partner. She's also won plenty of medals at the Southeast Asian Games. Silver in 2015, the women's team event, and bronzes in 2011 women's team 2013 mixed doubles 2019 mi women's team 2019 in the bronze as well mixed doubles ladies and plenty gentlemen of medals in the world junior championships right, and asia junior Baldi championships as well Mentari, Indonesia. listen to that crowd are really up for it aren't they and on my left tan tian ming and lai Beijing, malaysia Live paging to serve to Pita Hanintias Mentari. Love all. Play. Hey. It's lie to get us going here. Hey. Ooh, that's a wild shot, isn't it, from Rivaldi to get One. us started here. No. Just a little loosener. We did see a little bit of that uh, yesterday at the start. Even a service fault One. is oh. cheered wildly by the fans, the Indonesian fans here. Not many Koreans yet, or they're a little bit quieter. We'll see as that progresses. Hey. I told you that service the head-to-head -head between these One. two is two all. They first met in 2019, the German Open. Gentle hands there from Lai. Three. Rivaldi one. and Mentari won that one in three.
pretty tight match that one was. And then the New Zealand Open later that year. Tan and Lai won that in two. Again, very similar shot played by Lai. In four, fact, they, all their meetings, one. all four meetings have been in 2019. China Open, Rivaldi and Mantari won that in three. And then the French Open, Tan and Lai won that in three as well. Very good lead here from Tan and Lai. Early doors. Haven't really settled yet, have they? Rivaldi and Mantari. <laughs> Indonesians making noise, though. Trying to get behind them. out and just struggling with the power remember there's a Six, massive height one. difference there between uh, Mantari and Tan one, almost 30 centimeters between them so he's come down at a great height his shots when aiming at her little flick serve there that's more like it Service over. two six we're going to see a lot of power from Rivaldi when he gets into his jump smash. He hasn't been able to get into that position yet. There we go. That's a bit more like what he wants to do. Rivaldi. Three, six. Excellent entertainment. Yes. So much better from the Indonesians. Have 41 shots now. That longest rally. Subtle from Tan this time. Whoa! Service over. Four, seven. Yeah, they're, they're not really allowed to get to a rhythm yet at the moment, Rivaldi and Mantari. Good judgment there from Rivaldi. Now the gap is uh, three. Seeing more fans streaming in. Oh, this is going to be good here at the Palmer Stadium. Oh, wait for it to fill up and really have the noise. Well, he really got up high. If you think about his height, 185, then the jump, and then the racket. He just looked up as well, the light. A couple of players did that yesterday as well. It's coming at probably around three meters or so.
listen to that. They're loving it at the moment. Seven, eight. Now just trying to apply the pressure here. Yes. Rivaldi and Mentari. Just as it looked like Rivaldi and Mentari were right on the tails of Tan and Light, they have just eased the pressure a little bit. Succession of smashes here. And they finally get the point, Rivaldi and Mentari. Eight, nine. Yeah, finally, and the fourth time of asking. <laughs> Far more experienced, uh, Tunnel, as we said, they've. That. I'm not sure about that. That's, uh, called out. It looked like it was clearly out, but Tan almost immediately put his hand up. Here, we'll have another look. Well, Valdi was just there now. This is a better angle. Yeah, I think that's quite clearly out, isn't it? But we'll uh, have the official review. Oh, actually, it's not as clear as we thought, Challenge but it was certainly out. Probably worth a shout. One challenge remaining. Yeah, Tan and Lai have played uh, 18 Nine. matches oh. together coming into this tournament. 126 wins, 92 Play. defeats. Hey. Rivaldi and Mentari played 115 matches, oh. and won 69 and lost 46. So it's a better win record yeah. overall for the Malaysians. Hey. Good power there from Tan. Over. This year, it's yes. been... Uh, not so good for Rivaldi and Mentari. Five Ten, matches played coming into this nine. tournament. Two wins, three losses. Tan and Lai have uh, played 14 matches, won 10 and lost four. Snaps at that one, Mentari. Tan and Lai going to the interval. 11 9 up in game one. Got to the play semi finals of the India Open. Where they lost to fellow Malaysians and the quarter finals of the German Open where they lost to Pavel Ranukar and Tara Tanachai. It's well placed, really well placed. They got to the 12 9. Quarter finals of the All England, losing to Tung Tawei and Huang Ya Chong, who they Hong Ya Chong they beat yesterday with Hu Xuan Ying. Semi finals of the Swiss Open. 
where they lost to Wilson Watt and Siobhan Jamie Lai. So they've, they've advanced quite far in tournaments. Also, a good judgment call there from time. Service over. Ten. Yeah, as I mentioned, they've gone into Twelve. the latter stages of virtually every tournament they've been in this year, which shows that they're in pretty decent nick. But they're just missing out on that, that last step. And this could be that opportunity for them. Another pretty wild Service one from Rivaldi. just ten. tapping him on the back. I have to say it's okay, but we need to we need to do better than this. And these two last won the Spain Masters, the Indonesian pair last year. Better. Service over. 11 13. I have spotted a couple of Malaysians in the crowd. They're a lot quieter, there's a lot less of them. There was plenty of court well, to be exploited there by 13. Tan, but he just went a little wide there. It was the right decision, it's just not quite the execution. Oh. <laughs> Rivaldi and Mentari got to the quarterfinals of the German Open. Ken, 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 come here. Don't try to influence the service, okay? 13 all. Time's just being told to behave himself a little bit there by the umpire. The All England, Rivaldi and Matari losing in the round of 32 to Marcus Ellison and Lauren Smith, same as the quarterfinals of the Swiss German Open. He's not in the range at the moment. Service over. Rivaldi. 14-13. Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith have defeated them in three tournaments. Swiss Open, German Open and the All England. Probably quite glad to see the back of them for the moment. 15-13. This will be the first tournament this year where they will not be eliminated by the English pair. Right now, though, they are under the cost just a little. Two points behind Tan and Lai. Well placed, really nicely done by Light. 16, 13. And the coach is enjoying it. Well, the height was just not there, and that's very easy to put away. 17, 13. By Light. No height on that whatsoever from uh, Rivaldi. Far too easy.
At the moment, they're feeding them the shots, Rivaldi and Mentari. This is right in the zone, 18, in the, in the slot for Tan and Lai to put away quite comfortably. It's a five-point lead at the moment. It's really now or never time in this first game for Rivaldi and Mentari to stay in it. Then, of course, come the unforced errors. 19, well, it's really not working out at the moment. 13. There you go. There's some Malaysian fans. Game points now. A lot of them for the Malaysians. We haven't had an Indonesian winner for a while. Hey! That's a good winner from Tan. And uh, Malaysia, the Malaysian pair, have been very comfortable since the interval. And they'll be very happy with how that first game progressed. So keen to get on that the even the umpire said, Hold on guys, lots of time still. No rush. Court one twenty seconds. Court one twenty seconds. They've got to uh, really up their game here, Rivaldi and Mentari. They made a lot of errors, didn't they, in that second half of the first game. Second game. Made it far too easy for their opponents. Can they Play. pick themselves up here? Oh. <laughs> Again, she's been excellent around the net area, hasn't she? Like one love. Exchange of drives and then suddenly changing it up. <laughs> Trying to attack the serve there, Two. Rivaldi. Love. He seems a little out of sorts at the moment. Get there, Mentari, and yes. we are having a similar sort of start to the second game as we did in the first, where the Malaysians r raced ahead, and we're 5-1 uh, up, I think, at, at that point, and uh, yeah, the Indonesians just haven't got going. Oh, oh. Okay, quickly.
Again, going back to that interval of the first game, the Malaysians outscored the Indonesians 10-3 post-interval. Love. Very, very similar as I said. It is not going well at the moment for the Indonesians Got to pick themselves up here. Service over. Finally, one. We'll get a point on the board. Well, they've played a really good variation of shots today, time and lie. One. They're particularly good on the disguise and the drop shots. Good reaction from Tan. And again, there you go. Another example of those drops. Soft hands. They've worked wonderfully. This is not going well for Rivaldo and Mantari at the moment. <laughs> well, I can do it too, says Rivaldi. Service over. Plays that wonderfully six. from the back court. Nice disguise on it. Ah, yes. Okay. Well placed oh. by Mentari right into that Three. corner. Six. The other mixed doubles match uh, semi-finals going on right now as well. It's an all-Korean affair. Kim and Jong versus Ko and Eon on uh, court two. Tried that a number of times, Rivaldi. Service over. He's trying to just seven, three. Place these shots. It's not happening for him. Twenty-two. That one, longest in this particular game. Time for Service once. Over. Not effective at the net. Four, he has been very seven. reliable up till now. Yes. Well, the lead has been reduced to three, so that's the positive here for Rivaldi and Mentari. In. That's a much better play shot from Rivaldi. Five, seven. All that good work at the start of this second game from Tan and Lai looks to be slowly undone. Service over. Too high. Service over. Eight. Has let them down yet. 
It's the last thing they would have wanted. Mentari. Nine, six. Yes. I was there for the taking. They've it's just over. kind of got into a bit of a hole themselves, Seven, Tan and Light. Nine. And they're now making a few unforced errors. Again, that lead has been reduced to two. Well, I think there was just a little bit of hesitation there Eight, from Tan. Nine. Nine. Right. And all of a sudden, it's got very, very tight. Now, I don't think Tunnelai would be too worried, because remember how well they played after the interval. But they certainly want to try and wrap things up in game two. Nine. And they've drawn level oh. here. The Indonesians. And now the crowd, or well, the Indonesian crowd at least, making their presence felt. So this was similar, as we said, to the first game where the Malaysians were 5 1 up. It's happened here again, and then they went all level Service over. before the Malaysians had a very slight lead Ten, going into the interval. Nine. And it seems to be following that pattern. Over, ten. He took the gamble there, Tan. And now they go into the break similar to the last game with that slightly ton and light. Eleven, 
10. Play. On the backcourt, playing a lovely shot there. 11 all. And that's drawn them level. Yeah, just fucks them all, didn't it, with that shot. So it's over. 12. See the frustration 11. on Rivaldi's face. that 11. it was a very similar scoreline at the end of the first game, or the interval of the first game, and then the Malaysians just powered through and outscored their opponents 10-3 following the interval. Now that did look Tan out, but again, time challenges called immediately out. challenges out. I'm not sure again whether he's got that correct, but let's see. It was a tight one in the previous. Oh, I think that's how, isn't it? But it's tight. But uh, there you go. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 12 13. Play. Lies sprawling, and this is a better post interval second game for the Indonesians. Thirteen all. Now, can they take the lead here? They haven't taken the lead. At all in this match. The Indonesians. Last second play that. And this time it's out. It's really well done. By Tan. His reactions okay. were Spray. very good. Now, Mantari, I think, has asked for some treatment here. I think I heard the word spray from the umpire. Yeah, there's going to be some treatment. Could be the top of that knee, perhaps. You can see some strapping on her right leg. Looks like it's on the back of her leg, of her upper leg. Yeah, it's quite a bit being applied there. Now, of course, if you're the uh, Malaysians and you're seeing that, then you'll look to try and exploit that, obviously. She's just got a little problem in the movement. Is this uh, overly stretching here? Yeah. 14, 13. Oi. Oh, 
Might have just overextended it. Just in. Service over. 14. Good placement oh. from Rivaldi. Yeah, that's very comfortably in, isn't it? They are level again. First time in this 15, match, I think, Rivaldi 14. and Mentari have actually taken the lead. Malaysia, get ready. Well, this is a good turn of events for them. Oh, again, right on that line. 16, 14. Now two points they lead by here, the Indonesians. Make that just the one. Service over, 15, 16. Between the two. 17, 15. Oh. Oh. Too much power in that from time. Oh. As he aimed that at Montari. 16, 17. Nothing much you could do about that right at her. It's the toughest place to aim at, the midriff of the player. Can't really maneuver too much. Oh, went for broke there down the line from Tan. 18, 16. Still have it in this first, second game. Bring it to a third is very risky for Tan and Lai. That one's certainly out. Service over. 17, 18. That was good placement there from Lai, and then Swinging across from Rivaldi. From Rivaldi. Service over. Cross court smash. 19 17. Just not enough height on that lift. And he did well.
Oh, that was almost a bit of confusion there. around well. An important point this one. Now to finish it off. And they do. <laughs> Pump fist from line. Great rally that one. And the Malaysian fans, happy to see that. That was long, wasn't it? 62 18, shots. My 19. word. We have got a great second game here. So much closer than the first one. Enough. <laughs> Look at that. They all need a toweling down. It was long, wasn't it? Really long. But great entertainment. Okay, back on court. 10, 10, no drink, 10, on court. No drink, get on with it, says the umpire. Huffing and puffing from both these pairs. Play. 62 shots, by far the longest rally of this entire match. Could be the longest rally of the day, the way this has gone, but... Uh, and they're still trailing by a point here, Tan and Lai. They've given themselves a game point here. 20 game points. Revali and Montari. Two of them now, to be exact, the Indonesians to level things. Easy winner, though, for Lai. She saves one of those game points. 19-20. One more to go. There wasn't enough height, of course, from Mentari there. Easy to put away for Lai. Can they draw level here? Make it 20 all. It's 20 all. <laughs> They've saved both game points here. All. Yeah, it was just coerced that shot, didn't he, really? Tan from uh, Rivaldi. We need a winner by two clear points now. Series of drives early in the piece. 21. They 20. survived that, the Malaysians. And now, match point.
<laughs> she was down for a while, wasn't she? Lie, that's out! They've won it! Tan and Lai are through to their first final of 2022 to mark what's been a pretty good year so far. A very entertaining second game after a pretty straightforward first one. Montari and Rivali have played their part in this because they were understated in the first game. But they came to the fore in the second, looked like they were going to level things when they had all those game points. Couldn't confer, and look at that. Through to the final. So Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing of Malaysia defeat Rinov Rinaldi and Peter Hanningtias Mentari 21-13, 22-20 in 47 minutes. And are through to the Korea Open 2022 final. So what a nice start that was to the semi-finals here at the Korea Open 2022. Uh, we've now got the women's singles. This is a fantastic match, isn't it? PV Sindhu, the third seed Indian, is up against the local favorite here, the second seeded Un Soo Young.